Hi friends! My name is Melanie Giliati and I am a Pilates instructor and personal trainer with Iowa Sports and today I'm going to take you through a 30 minute beginner mat Pilates workout focusing on those basic exercises that way you can really use them throughout your Pilates practice. So let's get started onto the mat. You'll center yourself with your heels flat onto the mat. Let's bring our feet hip distance apart. Hands by your side. And just looking up towards the ceiling. So we're gonna focus on something here called neutral spine. We say that in Pilates a lot. What is it? How do I find it? How do I use it? We will use a basic exercise here. So we're gonna focus on the pelvis, right, to maintain our neutral spine. What is our pelvis? So, we have our two hip bones right here, of course, and the pubic bone, which create a triangle. Now we want to imagine this triangle is always parallel to the mat, so on the same plane as the mat, as our neutral spine. So how do we find that? Let's use the image of a bowl of water. So we're placing this imaginary bowl of water on our pelvis. Now this bowl of water is not spilling in any direction, so it's not tipping or tilting forward or back side to side. It is neutral on the pelvis. Now let's use a small exercise to find out where that neutral on the pelvis is. So let's take that bowl of water and start to tilt our pelvis forward. So our pelvis here, a little triangle. Let's start to tilt the pelvis forward. So imagine that bowl of water spilling down towards the mat. Good, you notice your spine starts to lift up off the mat. Now you're gonna take that same bowl of water, start to tuck the pelvis, so tuck your tailbone tuck your pelvis and tilt that bowl of water so that it spills towards the chest and towards the face. Now notice my spine is pressing down onto the mat. Good, take that bowl of water, spill it forward, spill it towards the toes. Really lift that spine and spill it forward. And then take that same bowl of water, we're gonna tuck the tailbone, bring that bowl of water to spill towards the chest. Great, now we wanna come back to center. So where is that center? Where is that neutral position of the bowl of water where it's not tilt, tilting or tucking or spilling in any direction? That's our neutral spine that we wanna focus on. So there is always a natural curve in your spine. You never wanna press the spine into the mat and you never wanna tilt your pelvis forward so that we lose our neutral spine. That's how we get into our abdominals, really engaging those abdominals in and out. All right, let's get started in some exercises. So. We'll do one more exercise here. So we'll take our belly button. So in our neutral spine, remember that bowl of water is gonna sit there throughout the whole exercise, the whole workout. We're gonna take our belly button and lift it up towards the ceiling. So really take a big inhale, lift your belly button up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, draw your belly in towards your spine as if it's reaching down towards the mat, but don't change the shape of the spine. So we're not pushing our spine into the mat or tilting it forward in any direction when we inhale or exhale. We're gonna keep and maintain that neutral spine. So inhale, lift up the belly, expand. Exhale, start to draw the belly in towards the spine. So pull those abdominals, pull that belly button in towards the spine. And another thing we say is in and up. So belly button in towards the spine. Another thing we're gonna do here is bring the shoulder blades up towards the ears. And then we're gonna roll them down the back. And as we roll them down the back, you notice your chin starts to lift so we keep the natural curve of our neck. And we want to knit our ribs together. So we don't want to be poofing our chest up. We want to knit our ribs together and pull that belly button in. Great, now we're in a perfectly engaged neutral position. And we'll get started on our first exercise. So bring your legs in tabletop position. That's your knees above the hips. And your shins are parallel to the mat. So a nice engaged tabletop position. Engage the inner thighs. Flex your heels. Squeeze your legs together. All right, so keep that in bowl of water. Imagine. Uh, imagination in um, the exercise. So inhale here, we're gonna lift our belly. Exhale as we pull our belly in towards the spine, you're gonna curl your head and shoulders off the mat. Look into your belly button, watch it pull in towards the spine and reach your fingertips long on the mat. Squeeze your legs together. Watch your knees, don't shift forward or back. Okay, we're imagining that bowl of water staying neutral. Good, and then roll down with control. We'll do that a couple times, inhale. Exhale, belly button pulls in, reach your fingertips long down the mat, shoulder blades down the back, look into your abdominals. So it's really the abdominals lifting the body, lifting the upper body. And exhale, lower down with control. All right, two more times, inhale. Exhale, curl head and shoulders off the mat, reach your fingertips long, shoulder blades are down the back. And exhale, lower down with control. Good, one more time, inhale. 
Exhale, head and shoulders off the mat. We stay right here. We're gonna take our right leg, flex the foot. We're gonna march it down onto the mat. Now notice I keep the 90 degree angle um, shape in my leg, so I'm not touching it down. Okay, so we're really gonna touch that heel down and lift. So keep your head and shoulders off the mat here. If this is too much for you, you can lower them down towards the mat. And we're gonna march each leg. Now when we march the right one, make sure the left one doesn't drive. We wanna keep both of them in tabletop position the whole time. Good, let's march to the left, keep curling up. To the right, keep pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Watch that bowl of water that your pelvis is not tilting or tucking, all right? Good. Left, right, left, right. Keep reaching those fingertips. One more to the left, one more to the right. Good, lower your head and shoulders down the mat. Pull your knees in towards your chest. You can give yourself a little hug. Good, we'll get back to that position here. We're gonna start our warm up exercise. <laughs> that wasn't a warm up. Our warm up exercise, which is our 100. So you can bring your hands up towards the ceiling again, shoulder blades down the back. Keep your neutral spine. Watch that bowl of water. Pull your belly button in. Inhale here. Exhale, head and shoulders off the mat. Reach your fingertips. We're going to start pumping our hands for the 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Five inhales. Two, three, four, five, five, exhale. You really want to use the breath and pump the arms. Two, three, four, five. Keep curling up, long fingertips, and exhale, two, three, four, five, and inhale. Curl up, look into the abdominals, exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep going like this, nice vigorous pumps with the arms. Two, three, four, five, we've got five more. And exhale, two, three, four, five, four more. Keep curling up, don't lose it. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep squeezing your legs together. You got this, everyone. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more, big breath. And exhale, shh, 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 shh. Look into your abdominals, last one. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Knees in towards your chest and rest. Awesome, really great exercise for those lower abdominals and using the breath. Good, we're gonna grab the back of the knees, rock up to a seated position, and we'll do our half roll down. So again, your feet are hip distance apart, feet flat onto the mat, grab the back of the knees here, wide elbows, shoulder blades are down the back. You're gonna start initiate from that belly button. So the belly button initiates the tailbone to start tucking and rolling down. So take a deep inhale here, fill your breath. Exhale, start to pull your belly button and tuck your tailbone and roll back just until your arms are extended. Look into your belly button. Create a C curve in the spine, so you really want to curl forward. Inhale, roll up back to this position and exhale, stay tall. That's it, half roll down, good. Inhale, exhale, tuck your tailbone, roll back just until your arms are extended. Look into your belly button, pull it in. And exhale, roll back up to neutral position. Good, inhale. Exhale, roll down just until your arms are extended. Hold it right here for three seconds. And then we'll roll it back up one more time. And exhale, tuck the tailbone, roll it down. Look into your belly button. Maybe you let go of the back of your knees. You reach your fingertips long. Go ahead and continue rolling yourself all the way down towards the mat. Great. You're going to pull your right leg in towards your chest and extend your left leg long. Now, that left leg is long and the mat's nice and active, so reach the right leg up towards the ceiling. You can point and flex right here, back of the thigh or the calf, whatever is better for you in terms of your flexibility. Go ahead and point and flex that foot. Great. So you're gonna leave that leg up towards the ceiling. You keep a slight bend in the knee, right? That's totally fine. Bring your hands by your sides to really squeeze the sides of your body. Remember, keep that pelvis, um, Keep that pelvis up towards the ceiling, neutral spine. We're gonna take the leg, we're gonna cross it opposite shoulder, circle it around the room, and stop the top. Now, you can keep going like this and make as big as a circle as you want, but watch your hips. We wanna make sure that those hips are not rolling off the mat like this. We wanna keep them plugged down onto the mat. Remember that bowl of water, it cannot spill. So hands down on the mat, you're gonna take the leg, cross it opposite shoulder, circle around the room, stop with the breath. So you can make as big as a circle as you want, just as long as your hips stay flat onto the mat. And if they're rocking and rolling too much, guess what? You're gonna make a smaller circle. Good, one more in this direction. Another direction, out of the body, across and stop. Good, really stop with the breath at the top, pull the belly in, good. Out, across and stop. Two more, out, across and stop. Watch your left leg, keep reaching that left leg long on the mat. Pull that knee in towards your chest, give it a hug. Reach it long on the mat, your left leg up towards the ceiling, give it a hug. Good, nice little stretch here. 
Grab the back of the thigh or the calf. You'll notice each leg is different, of course. Asymmetrical bodies here. Good, a little pointing and flexing in that foot. Waking up the calf and the ankle a little bit. Good, take your hands, place them on the side of your body. You really want to squeeze the side. Take that leg up towards the ceiling. You keep a slight bend if you need to. You take it across, circle it around, and stop at the top. Good. Inhale, across, around, and stop. Good. Really pull that belly button in. Let your belly button circle the leg. Good. Let it keep your hips down onto the mat. Awesome work, everyone. One more time in this direction. Now you're going to take it opposite direction. Take that leg out of the body, across, and stop. Good. Out, across, and stop. Keep going. Good, two more in this direction. Keep knitting those ribs together. Keep pulling that belly button in towards the spine. Awesome, and give it a hug. You're gonna bring both knees up, grab the back of your knees, rock up to a seated position. Great, we're gonna do something called rolling like a ball. Make sure you have a little space behind you. So we'll do a first version of rolling like a ball. We'll bring our legs into a seated tabletop position. So squeeze your legs together and grab the back of the knees just like rolling a uh, half roll down. All right, wide elbow, shoulder blades down the back. Small little exercise here. You're gonna start again, tucking from the belly button, the tailbone, roll back, just until your arms are extended, but this time your legs are up, and roll back up. Good, small little, we're finding the initiation of the tailbone and the belly button. Good, look into the belly button, roll back just until your arms are extended, and come back up. Good, now we'll do rolling like a ball with our legs like this. You're gonna start, same initiation from the tailbone. Roll back, tip of the shoulder blades. Rock back up and find your balance with your legs up. Do that again. Initiate from the tailbone. Roll back to the shoulder blades. Rock back up. Use your breath to find your balance. Let's do one more like this. Good. Tuck your tailbone. Roll back. Rock back up and hold. Good. Full version of rolling like a ball. Bring your heels in close. You can place them down on the mat first so we uh, position ourselves. So keep your knees wide. Grab the front. So circle around. Hug the front of your shins. Make a circle with your arms, elbows wide, shoulder blades down the back. Make a C curve in the spine and bring your head between your knees as much as you can. Good, and from here you're gonna lift your heels up off the mat, suspend them. Same thing, you wanna initiate from the belly button, tailbone down onto the mat. Roll back and tilt up the shoulder blades, rock back up, and find your balance. So really use the breath. I use my breath a lot to hold that last position, the balance position. Good. Try not to let your heels touch the mat and try not to let your heels kick back when you're reaching back. Try to stay tight in that little ball. Let's try it again. Tuck and roll back. Rock back up. Find your balance position. Good. One more time. Tuck and roll back. Rock back up. Hold. Awesome. Place our feet down onto the mat. We're going to roll down to the mat. So we'll start our abdominal series, okay? This is a couple sequence, uh, five, a sequence of five exercise down onto the mat. Your head and shoulders are up off the mat for all of these, so we roll up for all of them. If you feel any tension in your neck or your shoulders, you can rest your head at any time, okay? Come back up when you're ready. All right, knees in towards your chest for a single leg stretch. Let's take the left hand, place it onto the right shin. The right hand reaches around and grabs the ankle. Good, you curl your head and shoulders off the mat, shoulder blades are down the back, remember that bowl of water, belly button in, and extend the left leg long. Now in beginner Pilates, we wanna stay at a small angle, okay? And later on, we can start lowering the leg. Well, let's keep it at a high 45 for now. Bring your forehead up towards the knee, pull the knee in as you inhale here. You're gonna switch legs, so bring the right hand onto the shin, the left hand onto the ankle. So the outer arm's on the ankle, inner arm on the shin, Forehead towards the knee, exhale, draw the knee in, and inhale, you switch legs. Good, take your time here, bow and arrow. Inhale and exhale, you switch. Good, one more time, exhale the leg and inhale, you switch. Good, one more like this as you switch. And we're gonna pick up tempo here, we're gonna go inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale, draw the knee in. Switch, switch, switch. Good, right, left, right, left, two more. And right and left. Good. Both knees in towards your chest and rest your head. Now for double leg stretch, you're going to curl head and shoulders off the mat. Extend both legs out to that high 45, so not too low yet, just right there. And bring your arms up toward the ceiling. You're going to circle your arms and draw your knees in towards your chest. So you can extend your legs as long and your arms as wide back, never past the ears, as you can, as long as you can maintain that bowl of water. No tilting in the pelvis. Okay? Good. 
Let's go. Inhale, arms and legs extend. Exhale, circle, draw your forehead towards your knees. Inhale, arms and legs extend. Keep that bowl of water stable. Circle around. Yeah, a little harder now. Inhale, arms and legs extend. Exhale, circle one more time like this. Arms and legs extend. Exhale, circle, rest your head. Great. We'll go straight into scissors. So head and shoulders off the mat. Legs up towards the ceiling. You want to back, grab the back of the right thigh or calf, depending on your flexibility, and extend the opposite leg to that high 45. Good. We're going to curl head and shoulders off the mat. Look into that belly button. You're going to pulse, pulse the leg and switch. Good. Pulse, pulse. Really maintain, maintain that track of the leg, right? So they're not crossing over each other. They're staying in their same lane. Yes. Pull, pull, switch. Get a little stretch here. Pull, pull, switch. Forehead towards the knee. Left, left. Good. Last knees and towards your chest. For lower lift, we're going to make a little diamond shape with the hand, okay? Place our heels down. Place it right underneath the sacrum. So you don't want it high up on your back. You want it right underneath your sacrum so your fingertips are kind of still poking out, okay? Shoulder blades down the back. We don't want them creeping up towards the ears, remember? And legs are up towards the ceiling. Good. Hold that belly button in and curl your head and shoulders off the mat. You're going to take your legs. You can keep a bent knee here as well. We're going to lower the legs for three, lower for two, lower for one. Watch that pelvis. Don't let it tilt forward and lift. Good. Lower, lower, lower. Reach the heels and lift. Lower, lower. Lower, really nice everyone, good. One more time like this, two, three, reach and lift. We're gonna alternate, we're gonna lower for one and lift for three, two, one. Good, so don't lower it so much that your pelvis starts to tilt forward, okay? We wanna keep that neutral spine, remember. Good, lift, 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 last one, lower, lift, lift, lift. Good, untuck your hands, bring your knees in towards your chest. We have a last exercise here called crisscross. Bring your legs into that. Nice engaged tabletop position. I want to place my really expensive glass of wine on this table, so don't let it flop around, okay? <laughs> Good image to keep you in it. Good. All right, we're going to place one hand on top of each other. Place it right at the back of the spine, so the base of the skull. And we're going to keep our elbows as wide as we can for this one, okay? So always tendency to sort of bring your elbows together as we curl up. We're really going to curl from the abdominals, and we're going to pay attention to these armpits. I'll tell you why. Good. So right here, tabletop position. Watch your knees if they don't draw in, okay? We want to keep our tabletop position. Inhale, curl head and shoulders off the mat. So lift from the abdominals. Some of us are going to lift higher than others. That's fine. Keep your elbows as wide as you can. Now twist the upper body over to the right side. Now when we twist, do not start to draw this left elbow in. Keep it as wide as possible. Think about your left armpit lifting and twisting up off the mat. Good. Come back to center. Same thing, lift up and over to the left side. So right armpit, right rib, lifting up off the mat. Think about lifting up towards the ceiling. Come back to center. Twist over to the right side. Now this time extend the left leg out to that high 45. We're gonna twist up in this direction three times. We're gonna twist up for three, twist up for two, keep those elbows wide, twist up for one. Good, and back to center. Over to the opposite side. Extend the right leg, we're gonna twist for three, Twist for two, higher everyone, one. Come back in the center one more time each direction, over to the right. Extend the left, we twist for, twist for three. Twist for two, twist for one, come back to center. One more to the opposite side, extend the right leg, lift higher, three. Twist, two, last one, one, knees in towards your chest. Good job everyone, good. Grab the back of the knees, we're gonna rock up to a seated position. Extend our legs forward about mat width apart. We want to flex our heels, sitting up nice and tall. Now, this is a difficult position for you. Bend your knees. We really want the flat back, like we're sitting up against the wall. Bend knees are fine. Flex your heels. You want to bring those toes towards the shin and reach our fingertips, palms down. Shoulder blades are down the back, lifting up through the crown of the head. Let's breathe in this exercise. Inhale, lift. Exhale, start to curl your chin towards your chest. Your forehead forward, reach your fingertips past your toes like you're curling up and over a ball and reach your belly button to opposition to the back of the room. Inhale, curl up, stack the spine and exhale, stay tall. Shoulder blades down the back. Good, nice stack position here. Inhale, tall. Exhale, chin towards the chest, reach past your toes, keep flexing your heels, belly button back. Inhale, roll it up, exhale, stay tall. One more time, everybody, inhale, tall. Exhale, chin towards the chest, reach forward past your toes, belly button in, and roll 
curl up and stack the spine. Awesome. Keep rolling down, so tuck your tail. We'll keep rolling yourself all the way to the mat if you can. Every bone hits the mat on the way down, and I'm gonna move myself forward. Awesome. We're gonna make that pillow again with the hand, place it right underneath your sacrum, and bring your legs up towards the ceiling here. Bring your heels together, toes apart. We're gonna do corkscrew now. Your head stays down for this, lucky for you. You're gonna take your legs, draw them in towards you, and make a circle with your legs over to the right, center, left, and come back to the center. To the top. Same thing, other direction. Take the leg, circle it over to the left, center, right, and stop. Good. Keep going in each direction like this. We want to alternate directions, but guess what I'm going to ask you to do is watch that bowl of water. Make sure it doesn't tilt or tip in any direction. We want to keep that spine, those hips up. Good. Keep circling in each direction over to the right, over to the left. Good. And the last one, untuck your hands, bring your knees in towards your chest. Great. We're gonna rock up. We're gonna flip over onto our bellies to do some swan prep extensions. Okay, so make a pillow with your hand. Elbows are wide, place your forehead onto your little pillow. So this should, this should be a nice position here. We're gonna work in this position, obviously, but feels nice to be in this direction. So squeeze your legs together. I want inner thigh engagement. Your hips. Remember where those are? We found them. And keep them plugged into the mat. So we want to plug them into the mat. Now another thing I'm going to ask you to do is take a big inhale. Now pay attention to that belly button. Try to zip that belly up off the mat. Now it's really not going to lift so much. It might move. But I don't want you to move your spine, so I don't want you to be lifting your spine up off the mat. Just think about inhaling here, focusing where your belly is, and lift it up off the mat. Good. At the same time, lift your upper body with your forehead in your hands. So elbows are wide, shoulder blades down the back, extension here, and lower down with control. Let's do that same thing. Good. Inhale. Squeeze your legs together. Anchor those hip bones down to the mat. Lift that belly button and lift the upper body with your forehead in the hand. Elbows wide and lower down with control one more time. Anchor those hip bones, squeeze the legs together, lift the upper body, and let's pulse up here for five, four, three, two, one, lower down with control. Beautiful. Let's come onto our forearms, so make a fist with your right hand, and we'll make uh, take the left one and wrap it around the fist. Okay, so your toes are still down onto the mat. Now you're gonna lift your chest up high and reach yourself forward almost as if you're gonna take your hands and drag yourself forward. Now that belly button is not hanging out on the mat, so you kind of zip it up there, okay? I don't wanna lift the spine again, I just want you to zip up your belly button. Good, now lift your right leg up off the mat and kick it in towards your butt twice. So two kicks towards the butt, right, right, lower down with control, left, left. So two kicks towards the butt, keep lifting your gaze up high, Okay, shoulder blades are down the back. Keep pulling that belly button in. Kick, kick. And to the left. Good. Now let's pick up tempo with the legs. Maybe we go kick, kick. Kick, kick. Kick, kick. Now the challenge here is to kick fast without moving the upper body. So we want to control the upper body. Keep the upper body controlled. As we kick each leg, right, right. Left, left. Right, right. Pull that belly in. One more right. One more left. Good. Sit back into a wide knees. Child's pose. Good, wide knees, toes together. Reach your fingertips forward and lower your forehead down onto the mat. Again, if this is a difficult position for you, you can place your fore forearms, um, your fist down onto the mat, and place your forehead onto the fist. Good, so reach those fingertips long, take a big inhale, see your hips all the way down onto your heels to get a nice counter stretch for the lower back. We just did extensions. Good, everyone. Take a roll up. So we're going to do some side series. So come on to your left side here. So you're gonna use the back side of the mat to line yourself up. So you can place your head in your hands or on your form, whatever's better for you. But most important here is that your hip is on top of your hip and your shoulders on top of your shoulder. Hand is down onto the mat, bring your legs to the front corner of the mat. So this bottom leg is your stabilizer leg, so you really want to engage it, okay? It's not kind of hanging out like this. Extend it, press it down onto the mat. Other thing we want to do is we don't want to be tilting the pelvis back or your right hip back. We really want to make sure that we are stacked 
and your shoulders stacked and your belly button pulled in. We call this squaring the box. So this whole upper body part here, this box that we've just created, we keep it nice and stable with these leg exercises. So top leg lifts hip height. You're gonna point and kick it forward and then flex sweep into the back. Now as you sweep into the back, try not to move the upper body. So if you notice your upper body starts to move as you reach it back even more, you regress. So pull back, meaning you're not gonna kick it back as far if your upper body starts to move, okay? So let's try that again. Kick that leg forward. As you reach it to the back, if your upper body stays right here and it's not gonna move, and you can keep the leg right here. If you can reach a little bit more without moving your upper body, then you have a little bit more range of motion there, okay? So you go at your own pace. We kick it back. It could just be small like this for some of you, yes? Good. Kick it forward, flex, reach it back. Kick the leg forward and flex, reach it back. Good, leg on top of leg. We're gonna point it to lift and flex, press it down like you're moving through mud. Work the inner and outer thigh. Good, again, we're not lifting it up so that we externally rotate the hip. We wanna keep those hips stacked, okay? So it's really up and down position. So kick the leg up and flex, press it down, push it through mud, lift it up. Flex, press it down, let's do two more, lift it up. Flex, press it down, good, point it up last time. Keep the heel flex, hip height, five little circles without moving the upper body. Okay, nice and stable, other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, take that top leg, place it down onto the mat. We're gonna work the inner thigh of the left leg. So flex the foot, watch for now doing some funny thing with our ankle, so toes towards the shin. You're gonna lift that leg up and then lower it down with control. Good, lift it up and lower it down with control. So really lift it to get into that inner thigh of the left leg. One more time, hold it up there, five little pulses up, four, three, two, one. Awesome, leg to leg. We're gonna switch ourselves and work onto the other side. You know, there's many things you can do in our side series. Those are the basics. So again, line yourself up. Look at the back, look at the mat, okay? So the back side to the mat. Hip on top of hip, shoulder on top of shoulder, pull that belly in, so don't be arch now. We're on, we wanna be on vacation, but we're not on vacation right here, last couple of minutes of our beginner mat workout. Pike our legs to the front corner of the mat. Keep this bottom leg nice and engaged, top leg, hand down onto the mat, we're gonna kick it forward. As you flex and sweep to the back, do not move the upper body. If you feel the upper body starts to move, stop right there, okay? Regress, keep your form. If you notice in Pilates, you start to lose your form, right? You start to tilt your pelvis, lose that bowl of water. Just regress, pull it back a bit. Good, kick forward and back and back. Good, leg on top of leg, you're gonna point the toe, lift it up, flex, press it down like you're moving through mud. Remember, watch that hip, don't open it up. Good, it's really about lifting and lowering the leg. Good, up, flex, press it down, good. One more time, up and flex it down, good. Keep that leg flexed. Five little circles, quiet upper body, don't move. Two, one, other way. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome, place that top knee down. Bottom leg flexes, flex that foot, work the inner thigh. We're gonna lift it up and lower down with control. Good, lift it up. Maybe it doesn't touch the mat on the way down. Ah, good, work the inner thigh. Two more, hold it up there. We're gonna pulse up for five, four, three, two, and one, good, lower both legs. We're gonna reach forward and come into our quadruped onto all fours. I'll do a small exercise just to focus on that belly button in and up, and we're gonna do our front support, which is a little plank, and then you guys are done. So hands directly underneath your shoulder blades, knees directly underneath the hips. So tuck your toes underneath here, same thing. Keep your tailbone long, so we, won't, we don't wanna be arching or doming the spine. Inhale, let that belly drop, fill it up with air, and exhale, pull it up towards the spine. As you pull it up towards the spine, good, reach the right leg back and the left leg to meet it. So now you're in your first plank. Reach out through the crown of the head, so don't let your head drop. Make sure your hips are in line with your shoulders and your heels. Pull and zip that belly up, hold one more second, and bring your hips up towards the ceiling, get a stretch, bring your heels down towards the mat, and then walk your hands towards your feet. Good, you're gonna roll yourself up bone by bone, stacking up against that wall behind you. Good, bring your hands up towards the ceiling. So I'm reaching them up towards the ceiling and then dive them down towards the mat like you're diving into a beautiful body of water and walk those hands out for three, two, one. Come back into that plank position. 
always an option to lower one knee if you need to, but let's get that nice strong plank. So reach out through your heels, your hips in line with your shoulders. Keep reaching up through the crown of the head. Open up your fingertips. Push that mat away from you. That way you get out of those wrists. Awesome. Keep zipping that belly up. Hold. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Drop your knees down. Sit back. You can do a couple more of those, lifting up, holding for a couple more seconds each time. That was amazing, guys. Thank you so much for joining Beginner Pilates. I hope you really enjoyed those basics and you're going to use it for the next time I see you in class. Uh, have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for sweating with me.